I have a fig tree against the wall, and then a lemon tree against the wall. Tomatoes and bamboo to provide shade, some potatoes, just some random seedlings I had. The second banana grove. Artichoke, small. Some small pumpkins. This will all be covered by the chook pen in March. Get rid of this weed, hopefully. Some pigeon pea and some sweet potato, a couple of tomatoes. Hopefully the chooks will be able to clear all this weed. The corn patch with pumpkins, a few potatoes which have gone to seed because it's too hot. Some sunflowers which aren't going that well. It'd be interesting if there's any potatoes at all in that. Corn's going not too bad, but it's not very tall. Pumpkins and passion fruit climbing up over the chook pen to provide shade. This is the chook pen. This will be expanded out further. It's very, very boggy. I've just put some gypsum in it to try and keep it, uh, break it up a bit, the chooks. I've got herbs anchoring in the bottom of the chook pen. The wire. Lemongrass, thyme, rosemary, chives, parsley. One little lone sunflower that grew. Some more lantana. This is the first banana circle. The banana circles get the grey water on a rotating two weeks. This is the aquaponics. This is the sump tank. Drains into here, gets pumped up into the top tank where it overflows into that pipe slowly fills up the grow bed which then the pump stops and it drains back into the sun then I've just got some pigeon peas, some asparagus, some tomatoes, ginger turmeric and a couple of random tomato plants I think they're mostly I've given cherries them two handfuls. grey water sump, septic worm farm all the fruit trees I haven't planted out, kaffir limes, coffee, finger lime, it's the duckweed pond and the uh, water chestnuts, a little tour of it, my bay tree, I'll finish with that, and Vanessa's espalier chili.